is the testing done? How many times do you test the water before you can say, okay, we get you, we give you Shreveport the all clear? Every water system has to draw samples every month. And what they do is they take a percentage of those samples. So, for example, I think Shreveport Water draws like 120 samples every month to make sure it's on par with what it's supposed to be. So for a water boil release, they'll draw about 60 samples at one time from different taps around the city. Shreveport's good because they have their own lab, so they can run their samples as soon as they collect them, which is a benefit. So as soon as they're ready, the pressures come up enough, they will draw all those samples. They'll run them, takes about 24 hours to get your results back. The issue is if any of them are positive, then they none of the system can come off of water boil. Positive, so they will, positive for what? Yeah, you know, what's in there? Yeah. Well, how does it get in there? What could it do? They look for a variety of things, but mainly bacteria. And um, what that's our biggest worry, right? And so they could get in there a couple of ways. There's been no water running through the system, which is a constant flush to the pipes. So that prevents uh, bacteria from growing. Also, there have been breaks, which is a way bacteria can get in the system. Been a lot of air in the lines, which is another way. So once all of that's corrected, they flush the system really well with a lot of water going through it, and then they test. Once they test, if they get a positive for any kind of bacteria or anything that um they monitor for then they will retest those specific taps so where they specifically drew those samples from if they um are clear once they're all clear then the system will come off of a water boil i have absolutely no idea what we put in the water to begin with to make it okay but since it's not okay and hasn't been okay for a couple of days or or how how or what however long it happens to be do we put anything extra in there that might change the look or the taste or anything else so sometimes they choose if they look look at their numbers and and i'm not a water scientist i have a lot of them that work with me but sometimes they choose to flush it you know you, with chlorine remember we did that um mm-hmm. and you a lot of people had that chlorine smell to their water um some use chloramin chloramines i can't say the word very well but well then you um, can be part of the show yeah <laughs> And um, but still, the the whole point is to try to make sure there's no bacteria in the water. They'll do all of that flushing through the system before they draw their samples, because you know, of course, they want they don't want to come off water boil until it's safe for everybody to drink. It's really important that even if people have pressure right now, don't forget to boil your water. Don't ignore that because. We have had so many breaks, and we don't want people to get sick. Let me ask you, if they they, the city has their own lab, where's the oversight from the Department of Health? How does that work? Is it just the fines are so stiff if if they do something wrong? Or or how do you guys watch over their shoulder to make sure they're doing everything they need to be doing? So we have to see. We get all of their results. Um, We know um, we monitor their lab for one thing about how they're running and then we we get every result that they do so it has to be turned into our department if there's anything positive of course they have to let the public know they do those public releases very rare that we have issues in Shreveport we're lucky that way some water systems aren't quite as lucky they're small and they have small operators and it's a bigger issue but we we have to see all of their lab results we work with them very closely. In fact, our district engineer used to be one of the engineers for the city. Of yes, we know her so, well. <laughs> yeah, we have a close relationship with her with them. What kind of illnesses can water if you drink it? I mean, we we hear from flesh eating bacteria. That's you know pretty bad. I made coffee this morning. Wait a second. We can't drink that, and I had to pour it out and start over. What could have happened? Your biggest risk is. Um, 
uh, gastrointestinal illness, so like diarrhea, vomiting, that kind of illness, because there's ba- that those bacteria are the most common. Um, you know, remember we have that amoeba that we worry about in some areas of the state. Um, so we want to make sure that it's been flushed through and it's not growing in. It tends to grow in distal pipes, like the small ones at the end of the line. But we want to make sure it's not there. So there's all kinds of bacteria and minerals and things that we watch for. Your biggest risk for us that we're going to see is that we're going to get a GI illness. Okay. The mayor says he's very hopeful that the boil advisory for Shreveport can be lifted by Saturday. Realistic in your view? I think so, yeah. I think we're getting close to where they can test, which means if they can draw their samples later today, then we can um, possibly come off tomorrow. That's if everything comes back normal.